Remy, Remy, wake up, it's time to film. Queen Slay. Come on, get up, Remy. Oh. Stop. Let's go, let's go. Gotcha. Let's go. These are our plants. This one is the 50 50 compost. Oh, I hurt my this one Maximus. Caleb, why would you add that in the project? That was supposed to stay in drafts. But it's funny. I wanted to add it. All right, all right. Let's just continue, okay? This is our soil 11 weeks ago. Or it looks like Tarzan with that hairstyle. And this is our plants present day. Now you might be wondering, what the heck is going on? Well, don't worry, I got you. Today we are doing an experiment on the ratio with compost and soil. So basically each one of these plants has a different ratio of compost and soil. And we're going to see how well the plants grow in each different types of ratios. So these ones I'm filling up the red pots, they're 50-50 compost to um, soil. These ones are 70-30 compost to soil. And the gray, they're 30% compost, 70% soil. Nice. Dr. Caleb Bergman, everyone. Fast forwarding to the sprouting. Update on the project. This is the 50-50 compost and soil. Um, they are growing very fast and height-wise. Has not sprouted as fast as the 70 compost, 30 soil. Um, this is our lesson learned pot. Planting those two deep. Um, this is the 70 soil, 30 compost. They're, they're sprouting at a very decent pace, yet they're not growing as fast as the 50-50 or even the 70 compost, 30 soil. So I would say compost is doing very well when it comes to keeping the plant healthy, but it's also good to balance out how much you put in the plant. Here's the data for our plants. We got here, Dylan. Hi. <laughs> it seems as if the 50-50 is growing super well, super tall. Uh, mistake. Uh, it seems our compost is actually growing a lot, multiple, but they're not growing too tall. And the more soil, little compost is actually growing at a decent pace. So I'd say decent, doing super well, and then a lot, but not growing too much. Oh, you wet man. Caleb, Dylan, and I continued to collect data for the next few weeks, and it was until week 10 that we came down to our conclusion. It is the 10th week of growing these plants. It almost feels like I did this yesterday. I, I remember putting in the ratios, evenly counting the seeds, but it is 10 weeks. We have finally planted these plants, and we've collected enough data to be able to make our analysis. So this is the 50-50% compost um, pot and soil. And I honestly think this pot did the best compared to everything else. By making a quick analysis of how they grew and their height, it was basically the best ratio to go with. Plus, logically thinking, uh, the 50-50 was the best um, the, the best ratio to do it. It's stable, it's 50 soil, 50 compost, just the right amount. I was considering that maybe the 70 soil, 30 compost would do the best because obviously plants need soil and that 30% compost would give it not too much nutrients and it would be enough to just grow very well in good conditions. But I didn't think so. And it honestly didn't as well as the 50-50. Then we have the 70% compost, 30% soil. I, in my opinion, knew this one wasn't gonna do as well. Too much compost, not enough soil. The plant wasn't gonna grow very well. It's too much focus on the nutrients and giving the plant resource rather than healthy soil to grow in. So I didn't think this one was gonna grow as high and it didn't, it didn't grow as high. It's probably like the lowest height compared to the more soil and the 50-50 pot. So basically using logical reasoning and experimental reasoning, 50-50 ratio is the best ratio to go with. So after 11 weeks of growing these plants, we have basically came to a conclusion. Um, I did a bit more research before I came to anything else. I researched average growth for basil, um, how to grow basil, what is compost, and what are the effects of compost. So after using this information, we found out that our basil grew under where it was supposed to be. So here's the data table for um, all of our quantitative data. We also took into consideration that the conditions for basil wasn't perfect the way that we did it. So our conditions were decent. We would give it water twice or three times a week. We wouldn't check on it often, and we would skip the weekends. So if we would have given better conditions, the basil would have grown a lot better than what it grew to today. They didn't grow any basil because we planted the basil seeds too deep into the soil. They're only supposed to be an inch on the surface of the soil. We put the seeds in, and then we put more dirt or more compost to fix the ratio, which messed up these seeds. The pants were getting wet. I should stop. So in conclusion, the basil did the best in 50-50 compost and soil. Obviously, we limited our plant to a simple herb basil, so you can obviously use this with other types of plants, whether it's lettuce or tomato, and try out different types of compost. Thank you so much for watching, and I hope you have an amazing day. Because I'm tired. I'm going to sleep. Goodbye. <laughs>